Welcome to Loose Demos. Today we're going to be talking about Windows 10 Enterprise. We're going to be using build number 20H2 and we're going to be using VirtualBox. So to get a copy of a 90 day trial, if you don't have this copy, you can go to Microsoft's website and get a 10 evaluation. Just fill out the form and hit continue and then you can download the ISO. So I already filled it out. So we'll go ahead and go right into set up a virtual box. So we're going to click new. We're going to give it a name called Windows 10. So by default, since we gave it the name, it's going to change it to the Microsoft type and version since we're using the word Windows 10. So we're going to hit next. Here we're going to specify how much RAM we're going to use. We can change it if we want to just by moving the slider bar. Uh, you don't want to go into this orange area because this is where your system memory or where you're going to run out of memory for your system too. So we're going to hit next. We're going to hit create. We're going to use the default virtual box image. We're going to go with dynamic. And the nice part is we can add some additional space since it won't take up 150 gig immediately. We have to fill up the VM. So you may need to pay attention to how much free disk space you have before, you know, setting this up. We're going to hit create. There we go. We've created the environment settings. I'm just going to go into settings here real quick. Show a couple tabs in here. System by default. It's going to allocate one processor. I'm going to up it to two. Here in network, you have four network cards. By default, you have one and it's a NAT and you can change it to whatever. But I recommend keeping it in NAT. If you're on wireless, it seems to work better option. And we're going to hit OK. Then we're going to hit start. With this new build of VirtualBox, it does seem to take a little while here. Uh, if your CD doesn't pop up, you just click the little yellow folder here and this will help you find it. And I'm going to hit start. And I'm just going to raise this up a little bit. Now we got the Microsoft logo loading up. So pretty much installing all operating systems are going to be very similar to each other. You're going to be asked to accept a license agreement. It may be in slightly different order. Um, you're going to be asked to pick a language, your keyboard layout. It's going to ask you to format a drive or partition a drive. And then it's going to copy what I call the baking time. And then it will reboot. All right, we finally getting ready to go to the next step. This new version of Windows 10 or the new version of VirtualBox does seem to make it a little bit slow or a little bit laggy. So here we're going to be prompted our languages. So what language we want to install, our time, our keyboard. So we're going to hit next. Here, if we had a previous version of Windows 10, we can do repair. But since this is a brand new install, we're going to go with install. Here, we're going to accept the licensing. Then we're going to hit next. Here, if we had a previous version of Windows, we would choose this. Again, since this is a fresh install, this is not going to work, so we're going to have to choose custom. Here, it's going to prompt us to format the drive. 
we can format it or we can let the operating system do all that for us. So we're going to let the operating system do that for us since we'd have to make multiple partitions. So we hit next. And now it's going to start the copy phase. So I will fast forward to this part. Okay, now it's finished copying. We're going to hit restart. And now the computer is booting up essentially for the first time. Now we still have some additional things like create user accounts and stuff like that, but we're finally home set. This latest build of VirtualBox and this latest version of Windows 10 is definitely takes a little longer to install. All right, after a long bake, now we're finally at the next stop. We're gonna click the United States, even though we did select it at the beginning, I guess we have to do it again. And verify the keyboard again. And if we wanna add a second keyboard, we could add it. If not, let's hit skip. So now we have more important things to do. Alright, here we're gonna add our first user who's going to use this machine. And down there. And so we're gonna add Lou. Next. Uh, see if we can. There you go, you can still create a blank password. Here you can see here's all our different privacy settings. Again, you can choose, turn which one's on and off that you want to. Well, if it's not a laptop, well, I guess would you really need to find your desktop? Do you want to be geolocated? It's up to you. Um, if you're concerned about privacy, I would turn a lot of this stuff off, like Add ID. And if you're not going to plan to use Cortana, I would turn that off. Then we're going to hit accept. And then here, it's going to ask us if we want to set up Cortana. And since I'm running a VM, since it doesn't really have a microphone, so I'm going to say no. It looks like we're getting closer to the final stretch. It did take quite a while to, to copy. Oh, now we gotta wait several more minutes. Man, it's like watching grass grow now. All right, hey, we're finally there. So 
So this is the new default uh, wallpaper. If you haven't noticed, it's the same wallpaper I have on my machine. All right, we successfully installed Windows 10 Enterprise. All right, that took a lot longer than we probably all thought. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in the next how-to video. Bye.